Hello nurses, this is Kevin with NursingCamp.com and these are my scribble notes on nursing in the NCLEX. Today's focus on pulmonary lecture number 11, arterial blood gas interpretation, part of my series on ABG interpretation. From the sticky note found on NursingCamp.com, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and social media. Alright, let's get into it. In the previous lecture, I've been talking about this, this diagram, and this is called ABFAB, and this is a layout that we do for our interpretation. A stands for um, acidic. B stands for basic, or alkalotic. Then we section off this section as uh, ABGs are, are regulated by a respiratory system. So this is the respiratory area also by the kidneys, the renal system, or the metabolic system. And we talked about some basic interpretation that generally you'll circle um, where the ABG is. And based on what you're circling, um, you then connect the letters together, and then you interpret the ABG. Please see my previous lectures about that. So on basic interpretation, we have um, with circling the letters and we're evaluating this ABG. But we talked about some other comp other issues that you might have with interpretation. These are advanced concepts. There is an uncompensated, when generally you're circling somewhere in there, or a partially compensated, where everything is on the outside. All right, but now we're gonna talk about compensated, what compensated truly means. Well, compensated means it's good. Things are going okay. The patient is compensating, and they are doing better. So we said that pH is divided by 7.40. The reason is, is that's in between 7.35 to 7. .40. And then you have, this goes down to 7.35, and this one goes down to 7.45. That's an important concept because, because if it's closer to this area, you're going to have acidosis. If it's closer to this area, you're going to have alkalosis. That's it. That's a compensated blood gas. How do you know it's compensated? When the pH is in this box. It's not over here. It's not over here. It's inside this box. <clears throat> We're happy days. If it's in this box, it's compensated. Period. So the first rule of thumb is always look in this box. And if the pH is normal, we're talking about a compensated blood gas. Okay. But now we need to move to the next step. So let's go through it. All right. So a pH of 7.36. Okay. Well, it's more towards this side. It's in the middle. So it's definitely compensated. But it's more towards this side. It's not all the way over here. But we circled this because it's closer to this side. And we move to the next one. A PaCO2 of 40, 50, sorry. We circle this one because it's over here. Next one is a bicarb of 30. Okay, so the next rule is we connect the dots. This is the respiratory section. So whatever it is, it's respiratory. It's acidosis, respiratory acidosis. And because the pH was in the middle, we call it compensated respiratory acidosis. Next step. We have a pH of 7.44. Okay, well, 7.44, we know that this is 7.40. 7.44, it's closer to here, so we're going to circle the B. Next is a PaCO2 of 30. Well, that's definitely over here. And then we have a bicarb of 20. Okay, it's definitely over there. So the next thing is we connect these two together. We know it's an alkalosis. We know this is the respiratory portion, respiratory alkalosis. And because the pH was in the middle, we have compensated respiratory alkalosis. All right, next one. We have a pH of 7.38. All right, well, we know that the, the middle is 7.4038 is closer to this side. So we circle this A. Uh, PaCO2 of 32, that's definitely over here. And then a bicarb of 19, definitely over here. Well, we connect the next two, so we know that it's an acidosis, whatever it is. And we know that this is the metabolic it's connected to. So metabolic acidosis. And because the pH is in the normal, it's compensated metabolic acidosis. Next one. 
All right, we have a uh, pH of 7.41. Well, we know 7.40 is right at the top. Well, it, it is closer on this side, so we circle that one. Then we have a PACO2 of 50, and then we have a bicarb of 40. Well, in the next rules, we connect these two together. We know it's an alkalosis. We know that this is the metabolic area over here. So it's metabolic alkalosis, and it is compensated because the pH is in the middle. And that's about it for a compensated metabolic uh, or a compensated blood gas. Um, we're going to cover all these together in the next lecture, and we're going to pull everything together. I hope this clarifies it. I can be found on, my name is Camp, and this is Nursing Camp, and this is from my sticky notes found on nursingcamp.com, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. You can follow me there. We'll see you next time.